Hello, in this session I am going to take the fundamental SOP machine tools and operations. In that, in the previous uh, lecture I have taken the construction and working of uh, lead machine and now I will take the construction and working of milling machines and in that various milling operations we will discuss and applications of the milling operations. Milling machine a milling machine is a power operated machine tool in which the workfish is mounted on the moving table and is to machine to various shapes when moved under a slow revolving cutter. Here the slow uh, move, uh, workpiece whatever is mounted on the table that is moved under the slow revolving cutter. The speed is less. Workpiece is fed against the milling cutter. The workpiece is fed against the milling cutter. Metal is removed in the form of chips by using a rotating multiple teeth milling cutter. Here the multiple teeth milling cutter that means multi point uh, tool we are going to use, cutting tool we are going to use. Milling process is used for producing a flat contoured helical surfaces for tooth gears, slots etc. Here for this uh, specific uh, surfaces we are going to use the milling machine. The construction and working of the principle of horizontal milling machine as in the milling machine there are of two types first one is the horizontal milling machine second one we will discuss about the vertical milling machine in this horizontal milling machine the major components are base the base second is a column arbor the arbor on which the milling cutter is mounted the knee knee which on which the saddle table are mounted that one and saddle which is mounted on them knee table is mounted over that one and overarm overarm is used for supporting the tool that milling cutter tool a spindle at the other end by using the yoke in in this one how it operates means so we are going to place the here um, the work piece over the uh, that uh, whatever the vice is there to fix that one and then here the milling cutter rotates so the different types of the milling cutters we are going to use depending upon the shape of the work which is to be producer then here the this is the spindle which is connected to the main drive in the column and then it slowly rotates it slowly rotates and this workpiece is there okay that is uh, depth of cut is given by elevating the knee by using knee elevating handle and here the the moment of the workpiece along with the axis of the that whatever the milling cutter is there okay that is by using the cross feed handle by using that one and along the axis of this one okay that one some uh, along the axis and other direction we are going to move by using the wheel which is provided with the table and here as the axis of the uh, this milling cutter is horizontal therefore it is called as a horizontal milling machine the various uh, operations that is uh, required specifically by using the horizontal milling machine we are going to carry out by using this horizontal milling machine the next one is the construction and working of the principle of vertical milling machine the major components of this vertical milling machine base and column the base and the column and overall forms in the one that uh, component only and the uh, spindle head this is the spindle head where the spindle of this uh, milling cutter is connected then this saddle the saddle which is supports for the table and table is there and vice in which the workpiece is held and here the milling cutter axis is uh, vertical therefore it is called as a vertical milling machine and drive is provided from this one spindle motor and the here the whatever this uh, milling cutter is there that can be moved up and down and this whatever the workpiece is there that can be moved in the uh, particular axis in this one okay, in this axis uh, by uh, moving against this milling cutter and milling cutter can be moved up and down to give the depth the machining operation will be carried out this vertical milling machine also used for the different specific applications so later we will go for the different operations where we will come to know that one the different operation by using this vertical and horizontal milling machines next the classification of milling there are two types of milling that is a conventional or up milling climb or down milling by using these two milling there are various operations we are going to carry out that is a milling operations plane milling end milling slot milling angular milling form milling stardial milling gang milling 
then first we will take that is up milling and down milling means what up milling means here the workpiece advances against the rotating milling cutter the workpiece whatever is there that uh, advances against the moves against the rotating milling cutter the chips are progressively thicker this we can see here the workpiece is held in the vice and this is the milling cutter the, in the up milling the milling cutter is moving in the in that is clockwise direction this workpiece is feeding in this direction against that milling cutter then here the the whatever the this uh, chips are producing those are progressively thick that is increasing in the thickness that will happen here then here the one uh, thing that one the workpiece is tends to uh, lift from this one okay due to that one the workpiece should be firmly held in this one wise that is the uh, main reason for this uh, milling up milling then second one is a down milling in this one workpiece is fed in the same direction of the milling cutter the cutter enters at the top and the chips are progressively thinner here the, this is the milling cutter this is the workpiece and this uh, milling cutter is entering at the top and uh, moving the workpiece is moving in the, this direction and the milling cutter is also moving in the same direction therefore the chips are uh, whatever this uh, producing those are progressively thinner they will become thinner progressively that one. and here the whatever this milling cutter is there that is uh, pressing against this vice therefore that whatever the workpiece is there that will be firmly held in the vice then next moving to the different milling operations and that first one is a plain milling the process used to mill the flat surfaces of the workpiece we are going to use the plain milling operation milling cutter axis is parallel to the axis of the surfaces to be milled okay here the milling cutter axis and the, that workpiece axis is the same and this is the milling cutter which is placed put on this arbor placed on that one this milling surface and this is the workpiece or which the on the surface the milling operation is carried out to produce the flat surface and here also the same we can see the vice or which the milling uh, the workpiece to be milled that is uh, fixed and this is the milling cutter rotating place over the arbor and that produces a machining operation to produce the flat surface the next operation is the end milling okay the process of milling that is used to mill the slots pockets and keyways here particularly slots and pockets and keyways for that milling whatever the operation we are going to carry out that is called as a end milling the axis of the milling cutter is perpendicular to the surface of the workpiece here the axis of the milling cutter is perpendicular to that of the workpiece here we can see one of the operation this is a pocket cutting okay in this one the axis of the milling cutter is vertical axis of this uh, uh, workpiece is horizontal therefore right angles to each other then the pocket is machined here by using this end milling cutter and here the keyways is cut that one and there we can see that is keyways that is the end mill uh, milling cutter which produces a keyways the similar we can see here in the 3d okay that is the this is a milling cutter flat and mill and here the workpiece in the direction we can feed this workpiece in this direction so that this uh, slot we can cut in this one in the form of keyways or a slot that the next operation is a slot milling here the slot milling whatever is their particular tool is used that is called as a slot drill axis of spindle is horizontal the axis of spindle is horizontal uh, or parallel to the workpiece of the work whatever the surface of the work that one it is a horizontal and workpiece axis is the horizontal both are horizontal here and this is used to produce that one rectangular slots t slots dotted slots only for cutting of the slots we are going to use the slot meaning the slot may be of the different shape that is a rectangular or t or a dotted whichever may be the slot we can use the to cut this slot we are going to use the axis of the milling cutter is same of the workpiece axis the next one is the angular milling to produce a angular uh, surface like dot tail grooves champers etc we are going to use the angular milling the surface of that uh, whatever the milling cutter is there that is uh, is neither parallel nor perpendicular to the milling cutter that is the surface is to be milled that is neither parallel nor uh, perpendicular to the milling cutter here we can see that one this is the one of the dot tail shape that one is to be produced on the workpiece 
and for that this milling cutter is using in this one the milling cutter whatever is that that is a having the angular shape only angular shape only that is angular milling cutter therefore here the axis is neither parallel nor perpendicular the here also we can see that is milling cutter for the this dovetail or whatever the shape production this type of the milling cutter is used the form milling this is a process used to machine the special forms and or contours consisting of curves here we are going to uh, special forms of uh, the shapes we are going to produce that one those are having the curves in it the form milling cutter is the cutting tool which is shaped exactly to the contour is to be milled okay here the form milling cutter what is there should have the same shape of the contour is to be milled that one that is a, whatever the shape is to be produced on the workpiece here we can see this arbor on that this milling cutter whatever produced that is a convex form of milling cutter because here the same form we are we are going to produce on the workpiece that one contour to be milled you can see here the whatever this shape of the milling cutter is the same shape the milling the curve will be producing on the workpiece okay that is the form milling next one is stardal milling stardal milling whatever is there it is used to machine the two parallel surfaces vertical parallel surfaces at a single time that means at the same time we are going to uh, machine the two parallel vertical surfaces it has a two cutters mounted parallel on the arbor separated by the calculated spacing okay here the, the two cutters we are going to use those are separated by the calculated spacing also used to mill the sides of the hexagon this is used to mill the sides of the hexagon that one that like the uh, hexagon like the uh, whatever this uh, nut head and bolt head like that or whatever are there the hexagon those are those sides we can machine by using this type of the starter milling here we can see that one okay on the arbor two milling cutters are connected this space is uh, calculated that one. whatever the distance is there that is calculated and the two surfaces at a time the machining will be carrying out that one these are the starter milling cutter we can say that one and here also actually we can say, see here the two surfaces are milled here by using these two parallel milling cutters then next one is a gang milling gang milling it is similar to that of the stardal milling but machining is done with uh, several types of milling cutters according to shape of the desired work now whatever the desired work are there according to that the number of milling cutters we are going to use here not only single or two okay different uh, many numbers we can use that one here the only three milling cutters are used for one of the operation example is given that one here this is the workpiece and here in this one the two types uh, two parallel surfaces are milled similar to that of, that of the stardal milling and here the top surface is uh, milled by using the another one that is a flat milling we can say here the surface is milled that one okay like this at a time the stardal milling the both the surfaces milling on the surface milling all the three operations are carried out by using that one more than two operations we are going to uh, group that one in the gang that's why it's called as a gang milling you can see here the teeth of the milling cutter and you can teeth up the, the surface mill that one okay that's similar here on the arbor all the three are fixed and supporting and this head will be there for the this milling machine thank you i will end it with this machine and in the next machine i am going to take the drilling machine you can watch all those